Back at Allen Arena, where Lipscomb loses here to North Alabama, 82 to 69. Welcome courtside, Jonathan and Justin Seaman, joined by the coach now, Coach Lenny Acuff. Coach, this is one of those games where you've got a nine-point lead, momentum changed quickly on a three that was made, back-to-back -back threes, and all of a sudden, you're in a hole. You just can't can't buy a bucket. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's really a frustrating, disappointing loss. I, the first thing is I think you need to tip your hat to North Alabama because he's done a great job there. You know, obviously I'm very familiar with their program and, and he's done a great job there. Um, you know, we're we're up nine, thought we were really playing well and had control of the game. And we had a three that went in and out that would have put us up 12 with like 11 minutes to go. We, we get a stop, go down, miss two layups that would have put us up 11. They go down and it looks the ball's bouncing around out here. It looks like that's going to be a shot clock violation and uh, number two or three picked it up and makes one as the shot clock goes off. And from that point, it was 34 to 11 then. Um, obviously, I didn't do a good enough job of being able to get it stopped. Um, they they made every, every single play down the stretch they made and then we just really got cold. Um, we didn't execute very well down the stretch and that's my fault also. Just got to get better. Yeah, these type of games obviously leave a bad taste in your mouth, but you led almost 32 minutes of this game in a game you knew coming in. They're a physical, tough, get after you type team. And I thought for those 32 minutes, you guys competed right there with them. But then kind of the last eight minutes there just couldn't get that bucket. And they went to that full court press, and I thought that just kind of energized them a little bit. Yeah, they did. They started making shots, and everything looks good when the ball goes in the goal. Yeah. And, you know, we could. I, there's no telling how many shots. We just missed right at the rim. I, it had to be double figures. Um, but they, you know, they made every play. And, you know, uh, Miles sprung his ankle Thursday night, and we really missed him tonight. I, you know, he played a little bit, and he just couldn't go. And, um, we, we ended up with, you know, not enough ball handling on the floor. It, it was just, you know, they did everything right the last 10 minutes, and that's a real credit to them, and it's something I've got to figure out a way to fix. Defense creates offense, and that's so important in this game. And then you, you play in any game like this, once a team gets a little momentum after you, it's hard to reel them back in, isn't it? Yeah, you know, they're a really good team. I mean, you, you understand, they're, they're one and two coming in here, but they've played for sure the two best teams in yeah. the league. Uh, they, they, they played, you know, North Florida and they played at Liberty. I mean, most teams would be one and two if they did that. Um, they're gonna win a lot of games. They've got a lot of fight. You know, it, it, it's, they have really, really good guards. I mean, th those three kids are good and they're tough and they have a lot of resiliency and they, they just make plays. They spread you out and they make plays and that's good coaching and they, they've got a nice team. They're gonna be a factor. They'll be right in it to the end. What do you tell your team about this? Because, I mean, you don't want to learn, but you do have to learn and move on because it's still very early in this conference. But I think there's a lot you can learn from a game like this. Oh, for sure. You know, you never want to waste a failure. And we didn't get it done tonight. And we've got to have the ability to bounce back and have enough about us that, that you know, we just got to, I mean, like I told them, I mean, tonight it really should stink. I mean, that, that's a tough loss for us. Um, you know, you had the game under control. And, 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 and there's no doubt now the, the play that swung the pendulum completely was the three-pointer right. at the end of the shot. We had like four guys had a chance to get it, and they're not trying not to get it. We just don't pick it up, and he picks it up and throws it in at the buzzer. And it's, 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 it's basketball. But like I told him, I said, it's life. You know, there's going to be things that happen. You got to be able to, okay, we got to draw a line in the sand and say, we, well, usually when you're in a hole, you got to quit digging. And we, we, we just didn't do a very good job tonight. But we're, 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 I promise you, we'll go back to work to Monday, and it's on to the next one. We just have to learn from it, though. We'll take a look at that upcoming schedule, Coach. And as we do that, we also think, and got to say something about Greg Jones. He stepped up tonight, hit some big threes for you. Really happy for Greg. He did a really nice job for us. He made some tough ones. And, and uh, that's something we need, obviously. We, we, you know, we shot the ball really, I think, I don't know what ended up, but we probably shot better from three than we, we did. We shot, you know, 40% from three. We went 13 to 35 from two, and you missed 12 free throws. And we Doesn't, told him at halftime, I said, free throws and layups. Yep, and free throws are struggling a little bit with that, something we got to work on. But it doesn't get any easier. NJIT with a win today. Yeah, they took down North Florida, so, you know, they're going to be hot coming. Oh, they wow. went on the road down there, beat them. Three of the four games today, road teams won. So wow. You, you wow. got a tough little road trip here to NJIT and Liberty. We do. We do. And, you know, you just got to have a strong chin. You got a lot of resolve, and you got to say, okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to work really hard to get back and get it right.
We'll watch you on ESPN Plus for a couple of games. We'll see you back here on January 23rd when you take on Jacksonville and then North Florida. Coach, tough Thank luck here today. Thank you, guys. We'll All see right. you. Doubleheader Saturday in the A-Sun completes as North Florida, I mean, excuse me, North Alabama comes in. They sweep the Lady Bisons and the Bisons. They win the women's game 84-72, and then they come from behind to win this one. What a turnaround in this one. Wow, they were down by nine. Next thing you know, they went it by 13, 82 to 69. You can check everything going on with Lipscomb Sports at LipscombSports.com.